my high girl, and you know my shit stopping. Real ass bitch, give a fuck about it. Ah! Turn up. What's up, Sagittarius? All right, what's up, Sagittarius? Honest Am here, the creator of the Honest Thesis newsletter, a bi weekly newsletter geared towards millennials who are truly trying to get their shit together. And I am here for another daily motivation. Why do I keep saying daily motivational? Monthly empowerment read. All right, so let me calm down. My beautiful sex, angel number 32. Let's get into it. God, what messages do you have? Okay. God, what messages do you have for my beautiful Sagittarius to become the alchemist of their lives, to help bring heaven on earth, or just to do magic in public? God, what messages do you deem worthy for them here at this time? Please deliver them to me and through me as clear as possible. God, please let us know any potential manifestations, roadblocks, obstacles, or blessings that may be on its way. Please deliver these messages to me and through me as clear as possible. I am a clear and open vessel. Being the light on. Whew, engine number 115. Y'all, I did this differently this time. Normally, I do my, my videos in the morning. And um, I'm actually doing this in the afternoon. Y'all, look at that. I done went through two moods in like less than a, uh, a 30 minutes. Less than an hour. At the, I mean, a minute and 30 seconds. So, anyways. I'm doing my videos in my afternoon. And I'm kind of tired because I am got to the end of the day. So, let's just get on through this Sagittarius. So, your message, your beautiful February is going to be all about quests. When I see this, I automatically think about you going on a quest, maybe going on a quest, doing something that you always wanted to do since you were a child. This is also our blue card, which is dealing with our throat chakra, which is also thinking about speaking your truth. And so I feel like maybe this month of February, you will say something that will kickstart you going on a quest, or maybe somebody will say something to you, or maybe you'll get some guidance that will begin you to go on this quest of speaking your truth or walking in your truth. Underneath this is despondence. And I feel like this is happening after a long period of time. Maybe you have kind of just been in a standstill, looking at the world, looking at things kind of happening on the outside. Like, you know, just looking at the world, waiting for things to go by. Maybe somebody say something to you that just inspires for you to go on this quest, encourage for you to do something differently. This message of uh, despondence is dealing with our um, purple chakra, which is actually, I want to say our crown chakra, which is dealing with connecting to God and the spiritual universe. I want to say I have that right, but maybe, oh, you know what? I think this deck is differently. So our crown chakra is actually... This purple chakra is actually dealing with your third eye. And so I feel like maybe something may have been said to you, or maybe you may say something that will trigger something within your mind, within your intuition, your emotional body that will cause for you to go on a quest to see your truth. Either way, I feel like something um, is going to trigger for you to go towards expansion and lead you on this road to mastery because going to see your month of March, God is telling you to take an impartial, impartial, impartial view to things. So no matter what is going on, I feel like he's saying to stay true to you because I feel like what you're doing is going to be outside of norm. And he wants you to not focus on what other people may think or what people may say on the outside, but really just hone in and focus on the voice um, on the inside and being true to you. But don't take my word for it. Angel number three, 340. I'm actually going to get some more information about these cards. So like I was saying, the um, the blue card is definitely your throat chakra. Um, and it deals with communications from all levels. So this quest is that Navy combines the blue of communication with the darkness of the unknown, allowing us to discover the truth. There is a bravery here and an ability to face the truth head on. <clears throat> when I am somewhere else, my life will have meaning. Miss Patriot, the oldest woman in the town of Blue, decides that she is ready to set out across the deadly swamp and walk the Navy trail that no one has dared tread before. The wise youngster points out that the swamp has vanished and the path that she seeks is already before her. Miss Patriot sees that her life is not elsewhere, but is here and now. Miss Patriot travels home. The Navy stretches out before her. You may be on a quest that is unnecessary. Allow yourself space for self-discovery. Is it time to take a risk? Where in my life do I need to walk my talk? So maybe, um, again, like maybe this is a time for you to ask yourself, is it time for you to take a risk? 
Um, are you actually walking your talk or are you the type of person that just talks about something that you want to do or something that you would do? Uh, for some reason, when I was reading that message, I was just thinking about, um, potentially working on an endeavor and feeling like it hasn't been done before. And then you do the research and you see that it has been done before angel number five eleven. Um, I feel like even if even if the idea that you want to do has been done before, remember nobody has things and nobody sees life from your you know your from your point of view. Nobody looks at life through your lens. So always know that you're able to put your perspective on it. I always points to sandwich shops. There's a subway. There's a five. There's a subway. There's a Jimmy John's. There's a um, pot bellies, and I can go on and on. So why can't you have whatever you want? Um, <clears throat> let's look at despondence and I actually do want to get a little bit more information. Uh, so yeah, this is talking about our third eye and learning to see without shock, learning to see without sight. The sixth chakra reveals your intuitive, intuitive focus and inner knowing this card in this chapter reveal your behavior. You either inherit or unknowingly chosen to copy from your family of origin. So that's very interesting. Um, despondence. You have all the answers you need within. This card may indicate an emotional tie that is no longer serving you. Remember, how you relate to the issue is the issue. Obstacles are removed when you change your relationship to them. Engine number 626. By taking action, I found the road out. Iris is depressed and unable to look after herself or her home. She cries out to the great spirits for help. Mother Earth appears and suggests Iris showers eat a good meal, and clean up her house. She does, but still feel despondent. Suddenly, a hurricane hits, and Iris springs into action to rescue her neighbor's children. In the urgency, in the urgency, Iris finds the way out of depression by taking action. Iris teaches us that the only route out of stagnation is motion. If we do nothing, we must accept the consequences. In which part of my life am I feeling immobilized? I know what I need to do. Am I willing to trust myself? And so angel number 711, I feel like this message is here because God is asking you, do you want to go on this quest? Do you want to die to the old way of being? Do you want to see things differently? I feel like the problem is that you talk about it, but you don't actually do it. You haven't, you know, you, you talk about how you want to lose weight, but you've never even tried to get on a diet. You never even tried to alter how you eat. You never even tried to pick out a workout routine. You talk about how you want to be the boss of yourself, but you haven't even tried to put a business plan together. You haven't even tried to put a, a, a product out there. You don't even have an Instagram page for it. You can talk about this stuff all you want, but it's not going to get you anywhere. You have to take action. You have to actually start that quest and start that road towards your dreams. So, God, what is this message of, oh, look at that, tower. God is saying it's time. If you want, if you want to come out of this place of despondence, you have to allow yourself to speak your truth. Walk in the direction of your dreams and allow the tower to fall down no matter what other people think. You're so tied to how people view you and how you think things are supposed to be that you're, that you're keeping yourself blocked in. Only you're going to die your death. Only you are going to be in that, in that little bitty ass um, coffin. So why are you allowing other people to dictate your life? To dictate where you go and who you become. Why are you allowing fear to keep you in? Why are you satisfied with just talking about it and not being about it? These are all questions I want you to ask yourself. Angel number 916. All right, God, what is this message of quest and despondence about? What do you want my beautiful Sagittarius to understand about understanding, about speaking their truth and walking in the direction of their dreams? How do you get them to understand that it's not enough to simply talk about it, but they need to be about it? What is this message here for my, my beautiful Sagittarius to become the alchemist of their life? God, deliver this message to me and through me as clear as possible.
God name I pray. Wow. Make sure you, if you have any Scorpio in your chart, make sure you check out the Scorpio reading. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's how you end it. <laughs> that's how you get into March, okay? Angel number 1023. So, underneath this is, the reason why I told you to look at this is because this was Scorpio overall reading. So, if you have any Scorpio in your chart, make sure you check that out. But overall, this reading is the world, and this is God saying that you have completed a cycle. God is saying that you are whole and that you are complete and that you are ready to go out into the world and to try new things and to um, become the person that you are meant to be. Like he's saying that this is for you, that if you really want to go on a quest, if you really want to do things, then there are, there is energy to support this to make that happen. And in order for you to go on a quest, what God is saying is that you had to do this period. Well, actually, okay. Okay. So God is saying that you are, yeah, you are in the world. You're coming out a fresh new start. I mean, you're ready to start this fresh new beginning, starting a new cycle. Um, you have all of the elements, you have everything that you need with the, within you. God is saying you've spent the time where you had to pause and look at life and look at things upside down this hangman came out reversed so god is saying you've gotten the enlightenment you that's why you're at the world that's why you were able to to end that cycle that's why you're ready to come out and to start something fresh and to travel and to go on this quest uh also something about like your emotions like i feel like he's saying like you've been through that cycle of you know understanding your emotions knowing how it's fueled you not making moves in the past before and so god is telling you to just come beyond that like You've done this process where you thought about yourself, you, you pause and all that stuff. You have the enlightenment. So now he's saying, use this enlightenment to help you make a choice. Like, I feel like one thing that could be making you nervous and that could be stopping you and making you be despondent is because you're so overwhelmed with all the choices that you may have to make. It's kind of like what I was saying a little bit in the beginning, where it's like, you know, you want to change your life. You want to, you know, start this new journey of being this healthy and whole person. But you th look at your life and it's just so much you want to do. You're like, I need to change my eating habits. I want to get my money together. I want to get my house together. I want to get my clothes together. I want to get my weight together. And it's like, you're if you keep thinking about all the things that you have to do, you're going to overwhelm yourself. So what God is saying, pick one thing, pick one thing to focus on and don't get overwhelmed by it. Don't get overwhelmed by it. Like everything is going to happen little by little. So God is saying, pick one area of your life to focus on. Focus on that instead of overwhelming yourself because right now, because you are focused on all the things that you've done, because you've gotten this alignment and you realize all the things that you want to do, all the places you want to accomplish, now you're nervous. Now you're keeping yourself up and now you're worried because you're trying to figure it out. And God is saying, stop that. It's not for you to figure out. It's for you to trust me and to trust that I got your back and that I'm going to guide you every step of the way because underneath all this is the moon reverse so what god is saying the moon upright it talks about the illusion it talks about you know not being able to um yeah it talks about illusion things coming to light um sneaky behavior things coming out of nowhere and what god is saying is because you did this period of enlightenment because you were trying to make a choice of where you're going you don't have to worry about having that illusion god is saying you've been through this cycle you have this enlightenment you know where you want to go so why over why are you overwhelming yourself? God is saying stop overwhelming yourself with all the things that you want to think do and all the places you want to accomplish and all the ways you want to improve yourself and just focus on one thing and know that everything else is going to work itself out. Angel number 14, 11, because moving into your month of March is you're the you're the magician and you're taking an impartial view. So God is saying in this month of February, 
if you use this month of February to take that enlightenment that you got from your past or that you got from that past cycle, use that to funnel it towards one thing instead of focusing on everything, it'll stop these endless nights and you'll be able to easily come out of these illusions and come out of this this despons this despondence. Then you'll be able to be the magician. You'll be able to continue to go on your quest knowing that you have the power to bring anything about. Knowing that no matter what comes up, good or bad, you have the power to overcome it. But first, you have to know that. First, you have to feel that. First, you have to not be so overwhelmed and allow fear to keep you stuck. You can't allow these illusions to overwhelm you and keep you up at night. Okay? All right. God, give us a tool that my beautiful Sagittarius can use to help them be able to go on this quest, be able to use that enlightenment they got from their past to make just a choice and not become overwhelmed. How can they put these endless, these sleepless nights to an end, God? How can they come out of this despondency and allowing illusions to dictate them? How can they get to becoming the magician of their life and taking an impartial view to whatever happened? God, what information do you have to help them on their quest? Please make it as plain as possible. One tool only, please. Thank you. I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. I love this because this reminds me, this swirl of here, synchronicity. The swirl here is the swirl of hers, right? So God is saying, if you've been giving good, if you've been such a good person, you know you haven't been fucking people over, then you should know that you're worthy of this. You're worthy of becoming a magician. You're worthy of being out in the world and having a brand new cycle because you gave it, right? Let's read this. Appreciation and love and alignment to that which is source is the ultimate giving back, so to speak. For in your pain or struggle, for in your pain and struggle, you have nothing to give back. What you are living is always an exact replication of your vibrational patterns of thought. Nothing could be more fair than life as you are living it. For as you are thinking, you are vibrating. And as you are vibrating, you are attracting. So you are always getting back the essence of what you are getting. Right? So what is this saying? God is saying... Instead of focusing on being overwhelmed, instead of allowing yourself to go through these tunnels and having these sleepless nights, God is saying, focus your attention on what you want. Focus your attention on this enlightenment that you have, angel number 17, 17. Focus on getting here to becoming the magician because you know that you're worthy of it. So why allow your fear to hold you back? Last message. The subject of money is really two subjects. The subject of money is really two subjects. One, money, plenty of money, and two, absence of money, not nearly enough money. Often people assume that because they are speaking the words, I want money, or I want change, or I want that job, then they are speaking positively about it. But when you are feeling feelings of fear or discomfort as you are speaking, you are speaking of the subject of not enough money, and that is difference is very important because the first subject brings money and the second holds it away. So angel number 1804, this card, the better my story gets, the better my life gets. So this card is saying, what God is saying is what you give your attention to is what you're going to get. And so if you, as you're in this new, this new cycle, if you don't use this enlightenment to, if you don't use the enlightenment that you got, if you continue to allow yourself to be overwhelmed, if you continue to focus on the things that you don't want, all you're going to do is just keep bringing it to you. What God is saying is that, yeah, you can be talking about how much you want your life to change and how you want to be this better person. But if the way that you are speaking makes you feel uncomfortable and makes you feel overwhelmed and makes you feel like, oh, my God, I have so much that I need to do. How can I possibly do it all? Then you're speaking counterly intuitive to what you really want. Your body, your emotions, the way that you feel, that's an indicator of where you are on your journey. And so if you've been feeling bad a lot or if you've been just having all of these sleepless nights, then no, you're not in the direction of your dreams. No, you're not attracting good. No, you're not becoming the magician of your life. 
But if you take the advice of this reading, know that whenever you are feeling good, you are attracting good. Know that you are always, in essence, giving what you're receiving. If you put your attention on the things that make you feel good, then you can easily become the alchemist of your, I mean, become the alchemist of your life or become the magician of your life. But it first starts with you directing your attention on what you want and not on what you don't want. You are the one who has control. And you can either, you, you have that power to either speak life to yourself or to speak death to yourself. And so if you're speaking to yourself in a ways that making you feel overwhelmed, like you have so much to do, you're doing it wrong. And so I ask you to use this device of this reading to really get to a life that is meant for you. <clears throat> God, what happens for my beautiful Sagittarius if they use the advice of this reading and that they allow themselves to go on this new quest of feeling like they are happy and whole and complete on the inside, paying attention to their emotions and where they are getting their attention to? What if they focus on the positive instead of overwhelming themselves? What if they focus on feeling good and telling themselves a better story? How do they become the magician of their life? What enlightenment comes to them? What blessing is put upon them? A blessing of change. A change of her res resonance, partner, career, or job is on the cards. Your restless is in need of change, and that is exactly what's going your way. And so what God is saying is that You've been asking for change. You have been saying you want to go on this quest. You've been saying that you're tired of just watching life go by. So God is saying, so start going in this. Now that you know that you're tired of watching go by, use this moment of enlightenment to focus on the one part of your life that you can take control over. Don't focus on all the things that you got to do and everything that has to happen. Just focus on that one thing. Focus on becoming one with your emotions and knowing that you have the power inside of you. Focus on dying to those illusions. Focus on the change that you want to come and then watch all those manifestations come underway. All right, Sagittarius, that is all the blessings I have for you. If it was beneficial for you, please give me a thumbs up. If not, at least give me your key takeaways down below. Until we meet again, dream those dreams. Never let the internet rush you and never ever let someone tell you what you cannot do. Namaste. I really, truly hope that this reading is a blessing to you on your journey. Seriously.